Take a look at this book by Christopher Murphy, Brothers of the Diamond. You look at a baseball field, you call it a baseball diamond. You understand and know who is behind it. It's the Masons, again, behind every aspect of our society. Who says, Brothers of the Diamond. Again, diamond is 33. Freemasonry and professional baseball. And again, the G is 33. Alphabet A through Z is 1 through 26. When you flip it over, once again, G, you get back, you get back to 33. Now let's take a look at the actual creator of baseball. There could be disputed about this, but this is 100%. After you look at this portion of this presentation, you'll see it's definitely a Masonic game, 100%. And Abner Doubleday, the former Major General of the Union Army, is behind the game of baseball. Let's take a look here at Doubleday. Just so happens to be 33. And he's a Mason. There's no dispute about this. He was a Freemason. Just taking a look at his tombstone. Where do you see the obelisk? Again, of course, the pyramid, which is actually, like I said, nothing more than a diamond at the very top. Let's take a look here at the actual baseball field. And you'll see, of course, like I said, the diamond, a reference to the one-third or the 33% fallen from heaven. You have here, look at the pitcher's mound. It's, it's exactly 18 feet in diameter. Of course, you know, this is coded for 666. You get three sixes, you get your 666. Just like the pitcher's mound to home plate is exactly... 60 feet, 6 inches. 6 times 6 is 36. Again, you get your 666. With the distance from the, from the pitcher's mound to the plate, to the diameter itself, they're both 666. Now taking a look at the on-deck circle, there's two, as you can see. One for the home, one for the visitors. This is your sun, and this is your moon. You get your diamond, and your sun, and your moon. Again, this is all the concept of the sky. See here this old concept artwork again with the sun and the moon and the diamond representing the stars, the fallen stars. Now, take a look here in the outfield. You have that movie called Angels in the Outfield. What do you see here? It used to be called just the Anaheim Angels. Now it's called Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Of course, Los Angeles means City of Angels. In Anaheim itself, just so happens to be out of all locations, the, the team that's called the Angels on the 33rd parallel. And again, every little detail, everything they do, it's not by chance, not by coincidence, it's by design. And of course, Los Angeles on the 34th parallel, the city of Angels, just off the 33rd. Again, taking a look here, this top vantage point of this baseball field, actually, you see the football field as well as a multi-purpose stadium. What does this look like? The square and the compass. Just spread out. But the same exact thing. No doubt whatsoever who owns and controls baseball and everything else. These are the Freemasons. Now, I mentioned this before with Harry Carey, the former Chicago Cubs baseball announcer. Taking a look at his restaurant located in Chicago. You see the DeLorean. And you see the address, 33rd West. Okay, what does it remind you of? Just like recently, supposedly passed Muhammad Ali. He gave him a street in New York. Out of all the thousands of streets, to give him West 33rd Street in his honor. One of their puppets in the game, Muhammad Ali, just like Harry Carey. And like I stated many times, making top of this world, you must be a mason. The rest of us, we just get the crumbs in this world.